In this video, I'm going to be talking about all of the new LEGO Star Wars sets coming throughout 2024 in a quick, concise video without all of the fluff. There's a total of 12 sets on this list, so without further ado, let's get right into the first set. While this isn't a 2024 set, it's quite interesting as we finally have pictures of the new UCS Venator coming in October. It also comes with a brand new Rex minifigure with a completely different design from what we have seen previously. It also comes with an Admiral Ular minifigure that truly looks amazing, although I wish this set came with way more minifigures. It's going to retail for $649.99 and has over 5,300 pieces. Moving on to the 2024 sets. At $139.99 and 1,300 pieces is a skeleton cruise ship which will be based on a brand new Disney Plus Star Wars series coming later this year. Not too much yet is known about the show other than it's in the general timeline of The Mandalorian. We don't know too much about this set yet either, we just know it'll be a ship from the new series. The next set is from the Young Jedi Adventure Show and will be $49.99 and have just over 100 pieces, and it is a Crimson Firehawk ship. It is rumored to include the following minifigures, Nubs, Nash Durango, and RJ-83. It will also include a speeder bike to store in the back of the ship. Next, we will finally be getting a brand new midi scale Millennium Falcon. It is said to be like the midi scale Super Star Destroyer, and it will retail for $79.99 with just under a thousand pieces. It is also rumored to not even include any minifigures. And to go with the midi scale Millennium Falcon is the midi scale Tanta 4 in the same style. It will retail for $69.99 and have 654 pieces, and just like the Millennium Falcon, it won't include any minifigures. Next, we have a set similar to the Dark Trooper Attack set. It is the Tanta 4 boarding set, and while we don't know yet whether it is an 18 plus diorama or an 8 plus play set, we do know it'll be similar in style to the Dark Trooper Attack set. It'll include Darth Vader, two Stormtroopers, and two Rebel Troopers. They'll be $49.99 and have just over 500 pieces. For this next one, we are going to have another buildable R2-D2, which will essentially just be a scaled down version of the UCS set, and will have just over 1,000 pieces and will be $99.99. Pretty interesting as the UCS one came out not too long ago. Next is the Bunta Eve Podrace Diorama, which will be either $69.99 or $79.99 and will have 718 pieces. It will most likely feature micro-scale models of Anakin and Sebulba's pod racers. This set is actually a quite surprising one and is something I'm really excited about. It's titled Grogu's Escape and is based on when Order 66 happened and they brought Grogu to safety. To my knowledge, this is one of the only sets actually based on Order 66. It'll be $29.89 and include a bark speeder as well as Grogu and Kelleran and possibly even a couple of clone troopers. There are only a few more sets on this list, but these are definitely the ones I'm most excited for. For a 25th anniversary set, LEGO is releasing a buildable Droidica. It'll be $59.99 and probably have a smaller Droidica to go with it. And the smaller Droidica might even possibly be a molded Droidica rather than one built with a bunch of pieces. This will be one of the bigger sets on this list at $239.99 is the UCS TIE Interceptor. And while we don't know too much about this set yet, we do know it'll be next year's May the 4th release, but will be available to VIP members on May 1st. Quickly, before we go to the last and definitely most hyped set, I'd appreciate if you could subscribe, like the video, as well as comment so I can make more of these videos for you guys. And the last and definitely best set will be the Clone Trooper and Droid Battle Pack that is said to be releasing January 1st. It'll be $29.99, but it'll include 9 minifigures, which is crazy. And these are really good minifigures, as we'll be getting a Shock Trooper, 3 regular Clone Troopers, 3 Super Battle Droids, and 2 regular Battle Droids. I'm really hyped for this set, and I'm definitely going to be buying a ton of these. And if you enjoyed this video, click here. 